What's up, everybody out there in YouTube land? Wrath 2501 here. All right, guys, we're getting closer and closer to the final spook day. All right, Halloween. All right, so, uh, so um, of course, don't forget to check out the main channel. Link in the description, guys, for the big Halloween extravaganza. There's more videos, gameplays. There's going to be a stream starting around 9-ish, you know, going all the way to midnight. All right, so it's going to be... <laughs> anyway... So for right now, though, uh, we have um, uh, SFM Creepypasta by D.N. Bray, uh, Slenderman, all right? So, you know, classic, classic uh, Creepypasta. All right, so let's see what he's got for us here, and go. Slenderman. The following is a reenactment of footage found in the camera of a man who was lost in a forest. In the unedited footage, the man repeatedly mentions a mysterious entity, the man with no face. What? Where am I? I had woken up in this mysterious forest. The only thing I remembered before awakening was falling asleep at my home. There was a full moon illuminating the surrounding environment. I first discovered full moon can a camera be pretty right damn bright, actually. Me, one that I don't recall possessing. I thought it was best to keep the camera and potentially show it to the police in case they could find the original owner. When I looked around, it was a continuous maze of trees in all directions. I couldn't see anything beyond them. I knew there was no way out, unless I went through the forest. After about ten minutes of walking, I approached a car. I envisioned the vehicle oh, to be my ticket out of it, like he's but a cow. as I got closer, I saw that it was a total wreck. However, there appeared to be a piece of paper on top of it. It had a passage that made no sense, but it also had a drawing of a tree and a human-like figure standing near it. As I was examining the paper, I heard what sounded like a twig snapping. I looked around and shouted, Hello? There was no reply, so I assumed the noise to be an animal. Then, out of the corner of my eye, I saw a human-like figure, one similar to the drawing. Hello there, do you have any idea why I might be? The figure just stood there. After getting closer, every ounce of my body was consumed with fear. The figure had no face at all. It was just pure white, and it was wearing a suit. What the hell is that? I didn't <laughs> stay to find out, Come on, and I guys. ran through the forest in a you desperate know, effort coming, to escape I gotta do it. After like a few a, minutes like a of wall. running, I stopped and looked behind me to make sure I lost him. I couldn't see him anywhere, so I breathed a sign of relief and continued walking. I hoped that I would find civilization sometime soon. I had been walking continuously, and the forest was starting to feel like a prison. <coughs> Just when I was about to give up hope, I saw what appeared to be a tanker truck. I thought there would be people nearby, but as I got closer, the tanker turned out to be a completely abandoned but I did find another piece of paper. I was starting to think somebody else had been here before me and left the pages to warn travellers of potential dangers ahead. This page simply said, help me, in large letters, which sent more chills through my body. Suddenly, I heard another rustling sound. I was terrified to look behind me out of fear, but my curiosity to see what had been following me convinced me to turn around. And there it was. That creature just stood there, like it was the first time I saw it. It looked almost motionless, shit. All I see is static, never dude. moving. The creature with the white face and suit was standing before me, appearing motionless like it did before. Who are you? What do you want with me? It just stood there, silent as can be. I knew okay, I had I to somehow it get away from this thing. So I once again began running, hoping <laughs> if I got out smoke. of this forest, awesome. that it would leave me alone. I made a mad dash through the forest, hoping to outrun the mysterious being, and to hopefully escape this maze-like prison. As I was running, I spotted a distant light, and I thought I finally found a working car, or a road. However, it just came to a small opening with more trees on each side. I walked through the opening to find various road work signs, set in a circle, Laser with text of paper message? in the middle. I wanted to escape this mysterious place, but my curiosity got the better of me. When I looked at the page, Why? it said, 
always watches, no eyes. Then I heard that no rustling sound again, eyes. closer than ever before, but something was different. There was the sound of footsteps approaching, closer and closer, until it was right behind me. I was terrified and hesitated to see who had followed me. I, went to right I was hoping it was a ass, person, dude. but as I turned around, my worst fear came true. No! Okay, that acting was pretty bad. That was pretty bad, dude. The recording comes to an abrupt end in the midst of terrified screaming. When the footage was eventually given to the police, they had never seen anything like it and were able to track down the forest in the video. They carried out a search of the area, but were unable to find any trace of the man nor the pages observed in the footage. They just seemed to vanish. A few investigators said that they had heard other stories eerily matching what happened to the missing man. The same creature had been reported many times before, and people started to refer to this mysterious creature as the Slender Man. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Yeah, I know it's awful short to have a twofer, but, you know, I'm going to do it. It's Halloween. <laughs> so I do hope you guys enjoyed it overall, though. I did. Like this video, subscribe. Definitely click on the link to the original. Get down and subscribe and like over at Dunbray's channel. I will see you guys next time. Tune in every day for new content. Bye-bye.